So every year since uh, 2005, we've been refining this kite, the torch. Uh, this is our uh, freestyle kite. And um, the focus every year, you know, we work on it and we feel like uh, we're there. We got the best kite ever. We can't make it any better. And then after a few months of riding it, uh, I talked to uh, our team riders, Kevin, Jesse, Paul, and then uh, they always come up with things that we could improve. So, you know, I uh, get their feedback and uh, I work on it this year. Kevin wanted to jump higher. Jesse wanted to hold the kite in stronger wind, which combined kind of made sense uh, to do the same um, modification to the, to the kite. And um, personally, I wanted to make the kite more accessible because uh, I can see that everybody loves the torch. Everybody knows it's the best kite ever for bigger jumping and freestyle, but people are scared that it's too, uh, uh, it's too radical for them. So I wanted to make the kite more accessible so a lot more people could actually get the chance to, um, to ride with it. So uh, this is two things we focused on. To, uh, to make the kite stronger, uh, the first thing was a given. We've been working on that new material called the Quad Tex. We've been working on it for three years. And um, it's a material with um, uh, actually four rip stop versus um, one like we used to have and two like some other brands are having. And uh, what happens is the material becomes so much more stiffer when you, when, you, uh, when you put on it. So what happens, it makes the kite more stable, stronger, uh, and also um, a lot more solid in the air. So that's one key point of why the torch this year can handle more wind and can handle more hard conditions is because of that new material. Um, the other thing I've done is I worked on the taper of the leaning edge. The taper is uh, the way the leaning edge diameter evolves from the center to the wingtip. So I've changed this, uh, this ratio in order to increase the stiffness down here in the wingtip area where it's, where it's moving the most when you, when you load your kite. So that's key for the strong wind conditions and now you can really feel it that you can go in a stronger wind, you can jump higher and we've tested in South Africa uh, this, summer, this winter in really, really strong wind and we're super excited on the result. Uh, but the key thing this year, I think, is the fact that we've introduced uh, the ESP. Uh, ESP is, uh, is kind of a mini bridle and what it allows the kite to do is allow the kite to get extra deep power, instant deep power. It's, it's um, kind of like, in a way, it's kind of like a bridle kite for the way deep power is. But I wanted to make sure that you're still getting the exact same performance as on the regular setting when you're riding on the ESP setting. When you connect it on the ESP setting, which is this one here, that little pulley, what happens when you depower the kite, you got your topon coming forward, so you get extra depower. But when you shoot it in, then this comes like all the way down here, which is which brings your toe point in the same position as where you would be if you have the normal, uh, the old setting. So you get the same position here and just extra deep power. When you're actually kiting powered, you get the exact same kite that Kevin and Jesse are riding. And all you get is extra deep power um, when you need it. So that's kind of like combining the, the best of, bo of both worlds. And definitely for like anybody that thought that the torch was too high end and too hardcore for him, now you can ride it with confidence you're gonna feel safe on it. One of my favorite things about the kite is that it's super stable and you can rely on it in pretty much any sort of condition. If it's blowing 15 knots or when it's blowing 40 knots, this is my, my kite I like. It's, it just feels super natural. In kite loops, you know it's gonna catch you. It's not gonna do weird things. And um, I just feel very at home with this kite. This kite I really, really trust. Even though I'm 20 meters up, flying backwards, and don't even know where I am, I can always feel where the kite is. And I know by 100% that this kite is gonna save me from you know, crashing really hard. And those things um, are very important to improve. Like, if you wanna improve your tricks, and you have a kite that you can rely on, your level will go up like crazy. Hey, what's up? My name's Jesse Richman, and I'm standing here with the 2017 Nash Torch, now with ESP. This kite is, to me, an incredibly special kite. This thing is basically my muscle car when I want to go out on the water and raise hell. And doesn't matter if it's 15 to 40 knots, this kite will give me the same characteristics and the same reliability through any of my tricks especially the kite loops, which 
are extremely risky if you do them wrong and I know that I can depend on this kite to kind of give me the same arc through each loop. So it doesn't matter if I'm really, really high or not as high, I can kind of count on the kite to do what I want it to do, to be dependable and really, really, really consistent, which is wonderful so that every time I can make sure that it makes it back up above my head and catches me before I slam down the water exploding.